Hey Bilal. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm good. You can see my screen. Yes. Great. Did, did you get your phone? Yes, thankfully I did. Uh, I left it in the cab. Okay. Uh, the cab driver was very honest, and thankfully okay. he returned returned it to me. Okay, thank you. Do you do you give him something? Money yes. or something else? Yes, 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 I did. <laughs> yes, good, I, good, good. yes, I did, but I will not disclose because he deserves it. <laughs> no, no, no. This is our Asian uh, manner, you know. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I'm seriously thankful to him. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. thinking, I'm thinking that I give him less than what he deserved. <laughs> <laughs> So to, today we are going to discuss about another data definition uh, language statement, which is used to change the structure, meaning adding or modifying the columns in existing tables. Mm -hmm. So what are the examples of TDL that I gave you? Create, alter, select, alter. Which one of these three we have not discussed yet? So today we are going to discuss mm -hmm. alter table statement. Uh -huh. Ultra. Alter. A L T E R, not ultra. <laughs> okay. Alter. 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 And it is used to change the structure by adding or modifying columns. Mister mm -hmm. N, adding or modifying columns in existing relations or tables. Not it? Yes, yes, one second. Now, this particular uh, statement is very, very useful. Whenever we have already created the database, we don't want to change our design, but we still want to add some more functionality to it. In that case, this alter table statement is really useful. What is the what is the reason of alter table statement? Uh, it is used to the, add or modify the columns. Oh, oh, only for columns. Only for columns, add or modify. Not just Not for, table. Ultimately, it will be modifying the table oh, by modifying yeah. the by modifying the columns. My word, oh, because okay. columns are ultimately the part of tables itself. Okay. No. Okay. Not it. One second. Just one Yeah, please let me know. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. Sir. All right. Now let's talk about the common syntax. Please write it down. After this theory session, we'll have a practice mm -hmm. session as well. Okay. Since we missed the class yesterday, we are going to extend a little bit today. <laughs> okay. okay. Is that fine with all of you? Yes, sir.
আমি তো ফারিনের চায়ের জন্য অপেক্ষা করতেছি না সরি কালকে কে বানাইলো না ইয়া টিনা 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 ওদিন চা খাওয়াইছিল খুব মন সরি নো প্রবলেম ও সামবডি ড্রপড নো ফাইন ডান let's talk about the table we are familiar with called department manager mm -hmm. this table was having three columns department number department name and location <coughs> now on top of these three columns if you want to add one more column called manager name mm -hmm. this is the question add manager name to department manager what should be the data type of manager name and uh, data type uh, person correct let's put it 50 go back to the syntax i'm taking different pen so how will we add it by writing this right. statement alter table then fill in the blanks instead of table name department manager correct what is the column name uh, column name column name all total no, no, no. column name is database no what was the column no, no, no. the column name that we want to add column here is manager mm. correct manager name manager name yes. column name what was the data type we decided for manager name uh virtual virtual 50 guys you can feel free to call it work care virtual work care whatever you want i uh, i prefer work care okay okay <laughs> work care so this is one of the syntaxes using which we can use this alter table statement okay what if you want to add multiple columns that is syntax number 2 by the way this was syntax number 1 mm -hmm. adding a column this is syntax number 2 adding multiple columns to a table this is how the syntax is going to go please keep on writing it down
call n what do i mean by definition and then the column there is a and this represents name of the column let's look at an example again my favorite table department manager mm -hmm. what is the current structure of department manager department number department name location manager name this is the current structure of department manager suppose i want to add okay i want to add these two columns as well what should be the data type for department budget uh, department budget it should be number number yeah and it should be having precision of 2 right yes how about department score let's suppose this score is out of 10 how well it particular department is performing So number... it would be represented in number two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay. Let's. Can you put fraction here? Does it does it work? If I put ten comma two. What? Can you put like number like as it is the de uh, department budget for the department school the same data type. I can put the same data type, but I don't want to have decimals in department score. Okay. And here, here is a possibility of having decimals. Mm -hmm. It will depend on my design, how I am designing my database. Okay. 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 Let's look at the syntax. Changing the color of my pen. and write down the example it would be alter table what was the table name department manager yes then the add keyword then parenthesis what was the name of column one department budget correct mm. department now one important thing don't forget this comma okay close the bracket put the semicolon in the end Now remember, just like creative statement, there is no comma in the end. Okay. 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 Now, on top of doing this, I can also modify the data type of columns that I have added. For example, now right now I have just added department score. till this point in time i was thinking that i will give this department score out of 10 but then i got so many departments and it is difficult to keep track of the grading of department based on just two digits so i want to give this particular score out of 100 in that case i need to modify the data type of department score to number 3 right 
so that is our next topic this topic is very easy and very important this is like easy marks okay. when you when you have exam of 100 marks and there are some topics which you can quickly revise and remember this is one of those topics it's easy for you it's not for me <laughs> it will be after this lecture <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> okay so what is it we wanted to do we wanted to modify the data type of column name called department score from number 2 to number 3 so that is how we can do it alter table now uh, i would prefer that you guys uh, are able to finish this particular statement so who wants to try bilal give it a try alter table table name is department manager department manager modify what was the column name column uh, department budget department score Oh, okay. We want to change the data type of department score from number two to number three. Okay. So we will say alter table table name, which is department manager. Modify column name, mm -hmm. which is department score, and the new data type. Mm -hmm. Now, did I needed to mention the previous data type over here? Not at all. Mm -hmm. okay remember this we don't need to mention the previous data type <clears throat> we just need to mention that what do we need to change it to okay. now this particular syntax will work in oracle in my my sql you have to write alter table table name alter column column name and then the column data okay. type and in postgres you need to write alter table table name and modify column name and then write the keyword type and give the new type but but let's focus on oracle for now <clears throat> who is this okay madhab i muted you you if you want to talk you can unmute yourself now next topic is first of all we discussed that how to add a single column then we discussed about how to add multiple columns similarly now we are going to discuss how to modify multiple columns at a time syntax was like alter table table name then the keyword modify parenthesis then first column to modify the column type 
comma column two the column type of column two and so on now again going back to the previous table that we had department manager in that table we had manager name with where care 50 right mm -hmm. and we had department budget Oh. as number 10 comma 2 so I want to modify the data type of manager name and change it to where care 70 and I, I want to modify the data type of department budget and change it to number 12 comma 2 okay let's go back to syntax this is the syntax uh, would you like to solve it in your notebooks first do that okay try to solve it in your notebooks Now you guys can look at the screen and see the solution. Mm -hmm. yeah, really. Alter table, table name, modify column name one, data type, comma, column name two, and then the data type. Yeah. Now this particular uh, statement is very powerful. On top of doing all these activities, we can also delete or drop a column. Okay. Not it. Yeah. After some time, I got to realize that we don't need department score. 
there's too much competition in between different departments. So I don't want to keep a score in between them. So I decided to drop the department score column. How will I do that? By using alter table statement itself. What was the table name? Department manager. What is the column that we want to drop? Department code. Square, square, score, department score. Correct. So this is how we can write the alternative statement. So now can you, you do for just uh, drop drop delete department code instead of alter? Uh, <clears throat> you are asking, can I drop the department score without mentioning yeah, the table? Without, without mentioning the yeah. table name? No, we yeah. cannot. Okay. Because this particular attribute is assigned to a mm -hmm. relation, so we need to mention the name of the relation as well. Name of the relation is department manager. So why are you using alter here? Because we are dropping the table department. Score. No, no, no. We are not dropping the complete table. We are just dropping a particular attribute. Okay, okay. Let me write a note over here so that it would be understandable <laughs> later on. an attribute from a relation called department manager. Okay. And this is the reason that we need to mention this table name as well. You know that we can have the same column name corresponding to multiple tables. We can have two different tables called customer details and customer having the same column customer number. <clears throat> so that is why it is paramount. It is of paramount importance to mention the name of relation as well. Now on top of dropping the columns, we can also rename the column names. Okay. So next heading is what is the sequence? What is the sequence till now? Number four. Mm -hmm. This was number five. Next is number six. Syntaxes. Okay, mm -hmm. let's fill in the blanks. Uh, now we have a column called manager name. Instead of calling it manager name, I just want to call it manager. Okay. okay. So to achieve that, I will be doing this alter table. What is the table name? Department manager. 
करेक्ट What is the column name that we want to alter? Manager. Manager name. Hmm. What do we want to rename it to? Just the manager. To manager. So this is how we can do it. Got it, everyone? Yeah. Yes, sir. Great. Pretty easy. We are just filling in, filling in the blanks, right? Okay. Right. Yes. Now see the power. Uh, see the power of this statement. We are able to do a lot of things using this statement alone. Alter table statement. We have tried adding the columns, adding multiple columns, modifying them, modifying their data types, renaming them. on top of renaming the columns it can be used to rename the tables as well rename the table syntax is oops bare head writing we understand so it's not bad <laughs> and then this keyword rename Rename to new table name. Semicolon. instead of calling the table department manager i want to rename it to department details quickly fill in the blanks in your notebook and after that i'll write the solution Yeah. Good. Everyone got it. Yes. Great. What else can we do? <clears throat> Now this particular statement turned out to be amazing, and it did more than what we ever expected out of it. We can also use this statement to add constants on a table. Okay. <laughs> how can we do that do that it was topic number 7 topic number 8 number 8 yes thank you so there is a interesting story that my mom used to tell me don't be okay. like number 8 okay what does it mean i am going to explain you okay it is uh, completely out of syllabus and you don't need to note it down <laughs> okay
See, I can change all of the numbers to number eight, but I cannot change the number eight into any other number. So that's why my my mom used to tell me that don't be like number eight, be flexible. <laughs> okay. Anyways, what seven eight is? What is the problem for eight? No problem. Eight is just not flexible with others. <laughs> oh, I think you go. You want to go is closer, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Number mentioned this story that. Yeah. So it would be. Alter table. Table name. Add constant. constraint name and then constraint properties i don't remember the exact syntax so i will give you the exact syntax for this one later on okay Let me search it out. Excuse me, sir. Constant name and then what is this? No, 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 no. Please don't note it down. Uh, I'm confused. I I uh, don't remember how to. What is the exact syntax? So I'm going. I'm searching it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> The lesson that you can take from here is you don't need to remember all these syntaxes. They are always available online. The important thing is you should know the capabilities of database. For example, mm -mm, no. For example, in our table called department details, there's a column called department number. And I do not want this department number to be null. I always want it to be not null. So I can do it using this alter, alter statement. Alter table DPT details. Then again, alter column. What is the column name? Department number. And then set not null. Okay. So I'm adding a not null constraint on department number of this table. Okay. I can also use this particular constraint. I can also use this particular syntax to add the constraint and then mention the constraint properties later on. But more of more on that uh, later on while practicing. So let's practice all these examples that we have just discussed. You have noted them down, right? In your notebooks, all of them. Oh no. Matha. No, I cannot write it down. Uh, Why? Alter. 
<laughs> no other than this have you noted everything down yes yes okay <clears throat> so we are going to go through from 1 till 8 and we are going to practice them one by one on database okay My system is hanged. Sorry. So in our table department manager. we want to add a column what was the column name what was the column name that we added department score the table name that sorry the column name that we added was manager name manager name refer to your notes yes yes manager name this is what we did alter table table name e mr labarkar yep thank you add column name and then the data type execute and we have successfully altered it and do we need to commit yes we don't need to because it's a ddl Okay. Refer to the first page. Okay. On first page, I mentioned that it is another DDL which will change the structure. So we don't need to commit after any DDL. So we have successfully added manager name now. Now, what if we want to add multiple columns? So what are the two columns that we added? Manager name and the two columns we added were department, department budget, yeah, department and department score. Yes. What was the data type of department score? A number. Number two. Two. What was the data type of department budget? Number ten comma ten comma two. Right. I'm just filling the blanks, guys. Uh, alter table. Table name is department manager. Then keyword add. Then the open parenthesis. First column, data type of first column. Second column, data type of second column. Closing the parenthesis, putting semicolon. Execute. see the results there we go now next one was the capability of alter table statement to modify the columns what was the syntax alter table table name modify column name and then the new data type correct 
ended by semicolon so we want to we wanted to change the data type of department score from number 2 to number 3 right the data type of department score right now is number 2 we want to change it to number 3 what are the values that number 2 can obtain anything up to the length 2 so up to 10 no up to 99 okay yes so we want to change it to three digits so alter table table name is department manager modify then the column name column name was department score And the new data type we wanted to specify was number three. There we go. How can, can we modify uh, multiple modify like uh, multiple data types? Yes, yes. We after this we are gonna do that. We are following the oh, not, we are following the not, not. short. Okay. 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 But first, I want to tell you how can you mod how how can you verify it by describing it. So after describing it, you can see that the data type of department score is now number three. This is how we can describe a table. Next is modifying multiple columns. The syntax is alter table table name, modify, then the list of columns followed by their new data types. In our case, we wanted to modify the data type of department, sorry, modify the data type of manager name and department budget. We want to make the manager name up to where care 70 and department budget to 12 comma 2. So this is how we can do it. Alter table, table name. modify then the bracket start then the list of column names were manager name and department budget the data types were 70 um, fair case up. good fair case 70 comma there we go closing the bracket putting the semicolon in the end executing now let's describe it again there we go pay attention here compare it with this okay yes Next, on top of modifying the data type of a column, we can also rename the columns. And uh, before that, we, we are going to learn how to drop a column. Syntax is alter table table name, then drop column column name. The table name is department manager. The column that we want to drop is the column name that we want to drop is what department score. Uh, score yeah. There it is dropped. Describe it again. And there we go. We don't see department score over here like this, right? Can you can you roll back again? Does it work? If you want to roll back? 
I roll want back. to what? No, it will not. I want to. It will not work. Okay. Commit and okay. roll back will only work in case of DMLs. Alter table. Okay. Alter table is a DDL. That's why okay. transaction okay. control is not applicable here. Okay. 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 You still want to try? Let's see. Okay. I just rolled it back and executed it again. Okay. So after executing it again, it says that department score is an invalid identifier. It means mm -hmm. it is not there. Okay. It means nothing got rolled back. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. That means uh, DD, DDL cannot uh, roll back. In case of DDL, we do not require rollback or commit. And we cannot. Yeah. Now renaming a column. Now I've, I want to rename my column manager name to manager. Mm -hmm. I'm going to copy and paste this. Alter table table name. Then rename, rename, rename column. Mm. What was the name of column? Manager. I name. Manager name. Now we want to rename it to manager. Manager. Execute. Done. Let's describe. There we go. Okay. Yes. On top of renaming the columns, we can also rename a complete table. So there are two syntaxes of renaming a table. One is alter table table name oops then rename to new name this was one of the syntax another mm -hmm. syntax is rename table name to new name okay yeah. out of these two this is more effective. So right now I'm going to alter the table called department manager and I'm going to rename it to department details. Execute done. Now let's do select star from department manager. My assumption is it should not work because it is not there on the database now. It will not work. Let's do a select star from department details. It should work. Now let's use this new syntax and let's rename it back to department manager. So rename department details to department manager execute done now let's do a select star from department details nothing because i renamed it to department manager already now remember this point out of these two syntaxes this alter statement is more effective Okay. Mm -hmm. So we will always, always avoid this one and we will always use this. Okay. okay. Next, adding a constraint. So I'm not sure about the syntax of this one, but I'm just going to try. Add a unique constraint. Alter table. Table name is 
department manager department again, manager because we renamed it back yeah the column then i want to enter rename is department number sorry the column name on which i want to add constraint is department number let's see if it works i'm not sure that it is going to work oops nope okay uh, we'll come back to it later on okay maybe in next session mm -hmm. so guys wow we completed the whole topic today and we practice practice day well <laughs> okay. so i'm going to send you more practice question on this okay if i start a new topic now it will take another hour so let us let's stop for today we'll continue okay. to continue the next topic tomorrow tomorrow we are going But to but i have a question yeah, yeah. So do, do you want to back a constraint because we need a couple constraint do you want to what go back to the the constraint just we have covered uh, not null constraint and unique constraint oh sure the, yeah. yeah yes okay. yes 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 thank you Welcome. because we have uh, there are five to constraint i think five or six yeah yes so we, we, are, we are going to discuss them so we have discussed unique and not null right 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 sir okay and we have also discussed the check constraint yes check constraint is there uh sure in next session then we will start with uh, sorry we'll continue with constraints and we'll start okay. with the synonyms okay okay so okay, we are going to okay. continue with this continue after <laughs> unique not null and check and synonyms as well okay we'll have the class at same time 11:30 now do we have someone who missed any of the topics today uh i have some problem <clears throat> yes mehta uh i could not access the in database oh sure so uh Uh, Sujan's problem is already solved, so I will see your screen now. Rest of rest of us can leave the meeting. So Mehta, you can start sharing your screen. Anyone else is facing the same problem as Mehta? He can stay. Hmm. <laughs> 